Let's cross over to economist Justin Urquhart Stewart, uh, who uh, was with us, of course, yesterday as this uh, dramatic budget unfolded before our very eyes. Uh, we're seeing the reaction today, uh, uh, Justin, all over the shop. Uh, the, what has been the reaction from the uh, Institute for Fiscal Studies that everybody seems to admire so much? Well, you've seen it, well. To answer your question, you asked me a little earlier that no one was answering for us. No. Do people feel more confident? No. The Institute of Fiscal Studies, do they actually give it a tick for it? No, not really. Um, and I'm afraid it was a waste of time. Remember we said yesterday, what was the one thing you have to do in a budget? Um, and that was actually that word, confidence. And unfortunately, it will, no matter where you look at the moment, the confidence was not there. So all the different sectors that he's been talking about, some of the ideas aren't necessarily wrong, but I'm afraid they're not enough to try and turn this around and certainly not enough to people sit there and say, gosh, I'm inspired by this. This is leadership. I'm actually now going to be voting for this individual. I'm afraid that's not the case. The economy is still in difficulty. He has made some you know, decisions which will, uh, will have some impact, but frankly, he's missed out on some great opportunities of really boosting smaller companies with tax breaks, not giving money away, but giving incentives for more money to come into Britain to invest in our, in our industries. I mean, has he missed out on opportunities? There is the truth that, frankly, the economy is up the proverbial creek and there's nothing he can do, because I think the government's been on a big cover-up mission about a load of things lately, whether it's our rubbish border security, whether it's about the uh, economic um, impact of migration. They seem to be losing documents and losing reports and stop they're stopping doing surveys. We're not having a census anymore. It's just a massive cover-up. And I have a feeling if we had our eyes on the ledger in the Treasury, we'd have some sort of community coronary. Well, certainly the figures are pretty awful, but uh, let's be clear, we are still setting up small companies, we're setting up technology businesses, which are the businesses of the future, um, and so actually we've got some positive elements. Now, what do you do to try and help that? You can't just give them government money, that's not the issue, but you can actually devise a tax system which actually makes it cost-effective for the people to invest in those businesses, to therefore actually then start growing, making money, paying tax, and putting more money back into the system, instead of actually just moving around a small amount overall to try and actually get things moving, um, or to try and actually balance and balance books. You're not going to be able to do that. Um, you have to go back to some basic, straightforward economics of actually creating wealth. And you do that by actually getting businesses to start, businesses to grow and becoming profitable and making confidence, not just domestically, but internationally, which is what mistrust managed to ruin, um, to actually people say, look at Britain, I trust them, I'm going to invest in that country because they're stable, they've never actually gone back on their word, um, and actually in terms of those businesses, I'm going to get a better return. And today I've been actually at one of those sort of events to actually see some very exciting businesses coming through and actually investments coming through. There's no shortage of money, there's no shortage of businesses. It's just that someone took the plumbing away to allow us to actually do so cost effectively. That's what we can change. Uh, Justin, we asked our viewers uh, this morning, uh, has the budget made you feel better off? Uh, all of them decided to answer different questions. <laughs> uh, but you, thank God for you, uh, did actually answer the question when you first came on. You said the answer in your case is no. So I suspect that a lot of people will echo your view. Explain why millions of people will not feel better off due to this budget. Why won't it make people better off? Because a lot of those people will, A, not understand all the details that have been thrown at them yesterday of how the debt figures will change over the next three or four years. You can't remember all that detail anyway. Um, actually, most of it comes out in the Red Book at night anyway, and no one's going to read that unless you're a very sad gift. I know one or two, including me. Um, but actually, then, there was nothing which actually inspired people other than just moving around a few things about, you know, some benefits and things like that. But to inspire people to say, that's me, I'm going to be better off as a result of it. And even if it's 400 quid a year, it, that doesn't really make an, a big difference. Get people in the position where they think the country is going to be better, the country is going to be stronger. Although the world has gone through a bad time, we're actually still in a position where, yes, it's shrinking, but actually it's pretty flat, but we can make it grow again. Give me some confidence that the sun's going to rise tomorrow and we're going to be better over the next few months, next few quarters. No one's expecting actually it's going to be wonderful, but just tell me it's not awful. Tell me I'm going to be okay, um, actually, and things will get better in the next few years.
It's not difficult. Oh, seems difficult for Jeremy Hunt. Justin, thank you so much. I've got a bone to pick with you before you go, though. I okay. thought we had a deal. If you're not in the studio, there's a furry four-legged sidekick. No cat, no chat. <laughs> I'm sorry, I didn't bring the cat with me. Next I'll have to try and get Justin. the inflatable one. Well, next, next time, Justin, bring it to the studio yeah, with bring you. It to, we'll, we'll, we'll have a pet in or whatever you call a it. A cross-talk animal. That'd be. Oh, actually, we've got a cross-talk animal. <laughs>